This is a vlog of unloading here at CNS in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm vlogging this because I read a lot of horror stories on this place when I was on the internet last night. Now, I, don't, I didn't like what I saw. It just wasn't right. So, I'm going to do this on video. My review of this place, what, as it happens, on video. I, I stayed the night, last night, across the street uh, at Gate B. There's a uh, parking area right there, and I stayed there for the night. I talked to a lady there at Gate B, and she said, First, I asked her, asked her if it was okay to park here, and uh, she said, yeah, you can park here, but um, in the morning, go down the gate, I believe it's A down there, and there's a parking lot down there, and uh, so I went down there to check in with a guy in a pickup truck, and well, then he forwarded me down here to gate B, so I came down here to gate B to check in. Now my appointment time is at 10 a.m. I checked in at 6.30. I gotta pick up uh, at a place um, about an hour from here. And I have to be there no later than two. So I'm hoping all the reviews are wrong. That way I could go and Go pick up my next load by two o'clock. This is where I'm parked at on this back row against the fence. Uh, I read on the reviews how the people were real crummy here. Uh, when I uh, when I checked in there at the uh, guard shack, they were real friendly there. Didn't have a problem with the uh, guards here. That's the guy that uh, goes around telling people where to go, the yard guy. All right, it is straight up 10 o'clock. Here at Bilo. CNS, grocery warehouse. I have a 10 o'clock appointment and I'm not in a door. Straight up 10 o'clock. So we'll sit here and wait. All right, we're about 15 minutes after 10. This guy wanted to go get another guy that pulled in after I did. Uh, okay, that guy right there. Not the light blue one, but the dark blue and the Volvo over there. He pulled in probably about 15 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago. And uh, I guess he gets the door before I do. It's past my appointment time. And another. Forty-eight minutes. Forty-eight minutes after my appointment time, Trey Miller gets in his door. I'll tell you what. Once I get to my door, I'm sure it's already assigned to me. But they're waiting for that guy to get done. Gosh, I hope they work faster on my trailer than they did his. Jeez, man. Jeez, man. Ain't cool. It ain't cool. All right, it's 11 o'clock, one hour after my appointment. 11.05. Um, 
just informed the broker of my next load that um, I'm already being held up here. Um, if they had me in the dock right now, they would have two hours to unload this. If it was happening right now. Obviously, I'm not in a dock yet, as you can tell. $310 to unload. $310. Hey, I guess that's better than the horror stories I saw for like $1,000 on the internet. It's still pretty, it's still pretty high. So we'll see. I got into the dock. I got checked in. It's now 12 o'clock local time. 12 o'clock. See, I've got to be at the, my next place within an hour, and I looked, or within uh, two hours, and I looked on the floor, and you got some product juices. So that means I gotta go find me a washout. Jeez, <sighs> gonna be a day. Gonna be a day. So. Everybody's yelling at me. Cuz I've been here, let's see. It's now 1:30. My appointment was at 10. It's 1:30 and I'm not unloaded yet. And everybody's yelling at me. Why aren't you unloaded? Why aren't you unloaded? Brokers, you know. And listen, I'm yelling too. Well, it's now 2.40. I don't know what's going to happen to my next load. I still have at least, at least an hour. At least an hour. I went back there to go look. Well, I finally unloaded. You give them this money. $310. Um, my next load canceled. Well, my load canceled because I was at the, the uh, receiver there, their CNS, Bilo in Greenville, South Carolina. 
I arrived there at 6.30 a.m. The appointment time was 10. I got into a door at 12 and I pulled out at 4.30. So, I'm telling y'all, we've got to do something. I don't know what to do. But for 310 bucks to unload, I know a lot of times it's more than that. I don't even know why drivers have to touch the money. Um, detention time. Oh, gosh. And I know it's trucking. I get all that. People say that. Oh, it's trucking. Don't do anything. But one of these days, we're just going to have to take a stand. You know? Anyways, thanks for watching this video, this one long griping video, and um, this is real trucking, man. This is real trucking. This is the side of trucking that um, that a lot of times you don't get to see if you're on the outside. If you're on the inside, you definitely know all about it. I just uh, ask everybody, if you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike it, press dislike. Either way, I appreciate your business. 73.